What up, YouTube? Asian, Persu uh, Asian Persuasion yeah. here. <laughs> I'm already messing up my name, but we're here at Local like Today, today I got second place. I like got what is it? X01. I didn't lose, but I got a draw round one. So it's unfortunate. But I played a really fun deck. If you guys remember, one of my pet decks is Cosmo. And I played that deck today. So <laughs> people were asking for that one. Oh, yeah. Everyone's been bothering me, but let's be real. Rice Heart made my deck bad. And the format was too fast. It just honestly, it's still kind of fast right now. But like, I play more of a control Cosmo deck to make my deck a little more, you know, competitive. I can I can fight even if I go second. I think so. It's just that Rise Heart was gatekeeping a lot of decks. Gatekeeping me is really bad because uh, weird Tin Candy's grave. I can't float my ships. At least you're not playing Runic Stun. Now you're now you're loved. We changed it up. We changed it up. All right. So now you're loved again. Do, we're just gonna jump into the profile. And yes, sir. We're here, my boy, uh, Yu Gi Oh! Gaming Channel. Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah. Yo, check him out. <laughs> bro, go ahead and show y'all spice. Yes, sir. So, first things first, because I'm pretty sure no one knows what Cosmo cards do, probably because it's 2023. This is Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Uh, normal special summon, it pops a monster on my side or your side, I can choose, and then you can't target this with card effects, and then if this dies by card effect or battle, you can banish from the grave for cost to special summon a level 7 or lower cosmo monster. So it's a floater, he's your boss monster, he's an eruption, and he's big. He's everything. That, that, that's the best card in your deck. This card went to 1 for God's sake for a long time, so he's at 3, you're gonna play 3. Uh, the next big ship is 1 cosmo dark eclipser, he's also untargetable, and then his effect is you can banish a Cosmo monster from your grave to negate a trap card, and he's not once per turn, so you can negate as many trap cards as you want with his effect, as many Cosmo monsters you have to banish. But he doesn't float when he dies by battle card effect, you banish him to search, instead of special summon to the field, you banish to search a level uh, 8 or lower Cosmo monster, so you can search him, because he's level 9, so there's level 8. Mm. So yeah, and he's untargetable, so he's really good against trap deck. So you just play the one just because I don't know if I'm going to play a trap deck game one or not, and he's just really big, so. One Dark Eclipse. Uh, the one Cosmo Forerunner, this is my only card I can win in time with, but in general I lose in time because all my monsters pay light points. So this card is, it's okay, it's untargetable ship, uh, and, and during my standby phase I can gain a thousand. So he's, a, he's an okay card, you just play one of, just because it's another untargetable card after they out something like this. So if they're Sky Striker, they out this, then they deal with another card they can't target, so it's a pretty good card. And then we got the two yeah, like Cosmo time. Slip Rider. This is the, when it's normal special summon, you pop a spell trap on the field. I can do my cards or your cards. And then he also has the effect when it dies by battle card effect to banish itself to special summon to level four or lower from the deck. So card's a pretty good floater, and he's 23. He's freaking huge. Um, and next up, I play a control version, so I up the Cosmo Dark Lady up. So this guy's 2200 attack, pay a thousand. Light points to negate and destroy a monster effect activation. And it's once per turn per copy, you can summon another. You can have two on the board and use both. Uh, and then its effect is it's a pilot, so you can banish this to special summon level six or higher Cosmo from your hand. So you can negate and destroy something. They try to like impermit. You can chain it to special summon a guy, and then this will still resolve because it's not on the field. Yeah, this card is just really big. He's just a really big. He's kind of like a floodgate monster. 2200. Then negate and destroy a monster effect. If you can't deal with it the first turn, you're in trouble because then this card just keeps coming back <laughs> and then the good old farm girl you already know what's game when this card's attacking you most likely if you're not dead from damage you're gonna die because I'm gonna set up a board where you can't break it, so. yeah deal battle damage pay 500 during damage to, have to search any Cosmo card so you search Dark Destroyer tag it out summon Dark Destroyer pop your other big ship summon some attack attack uh, Unfortunately, it doesn't work against Kyle's deck. Cyber Dragons. I died to Cyber Dragons. <laughs> yeah. Who would have figured I'd lose to Cyber Dragons? It's the worst matchup. I lose every time. <laughs> Unless he just breaks. Uh, we got the one straw man. Uh, he's a pilot that pays 500 special summon a, a banished Cosmo from my uh, my banished pile and negates his effect, but it gets destroyed in the end phase from his effect. So this card is really good recursion to summon like this. It would have negated its effect, but when he dies at the end phase, you can get like a tin can and then surge in the end phase still. And then speaking of tin can, or I guess we can call him from Andrew's day, uh, win can. This is, uh, this is the best card in the deck. You need to open this card going first to make make your deck work. If you don't draw this going first, your deck's not working. Uh, this, this card going second is awful because you have to go to your end phase. So you're already like not breaking their board 
yeah. So winning the Dyro is pretty crucial. But this card, in end phase, you pay 500, search a Cosmo card, three different names. One of them go to your hand, the other two go to the grave. And then that's how you set up your Dark Destroyer plays. You set it in your grave or get it to your hand. You can revive it if you didn't get it. So pretty much Tin Can loads up your grave. And to make my deck competitive, I had to throw in Dogmatica card. Oh, nice. So... My deck does not summon from the extra deck. It just doesn't. So if I ever do, it's because I'm summoning a floodgate monster. Um, but yeah, this card is the best card in Dogmatica. Uh, I would almost play three, but it gets too clunky. I just I like the three in a Deer Servant. So uh, yeah, the one floor and the one Maximus. I don't summon from the extra deck, so sending two cards is actually just really good for me. Uh, this is how I set up my win button with the Shadal cards. So that's one of my win cons is Shadal window. Weird. Uh, yeah, the card's crazy. Also good sending it, like, uh, the next best Cosmo card, I mean, <laughs> never mind, it's just a Castero <laughs> card. Uh, Fenrir, this card's amazing. This card's just too good, going first and second. Break a board, search itself going first. It's just Link Fodder if I ever decide to Link, which I'm not. I just like keeping him on the board for its effect, so... This card's actually crazy in this deck. Weird, now, I, now I understand why the OCG banned it. Mm. Yeah, this card's too crazy. Yeah, that card is pretty nuts. Yeah. I think for the most did. part, that, that card is just nuts. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Uh, for the that rounded it's out the monsters. We didn't play no hand traps besides the Fleur de Lis, which I call a hand trap, I guess. But three Cosmo Town. This is the best field spell in Cosmo, obviously. Uh, not once per turn effect to reveal uh, Cosmo cards, throw them back your deck and mulligan for that many cards, or pick up a banished Cosmo card, take a hundred per light point per level. And if this card is destroyed by card effect, you can add any Cosmo card, including itself, because it's Cosmo Town. So yeah, this card's not worth return. You just cycle through it with your Slip Riders, you can pop your own cards, so you can search whatever you need. This card's crazy. But this is why you lose, because if you, if you haven't noticed, you're paying light points. You're taking light points. <laughs> you lose in time. You gotta play fast. Uh, don't look at the middle card. It's, it's ugly. Um, this reason, what is that? The reason why... <laughs> Let's hide it. <laughs> uh, we play three e telly because it's crazy. This is a psychic deck. So, yeah. Hook me up with another ult. Yeah, thank you, Seth. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't it, was, it, was, it was ugly, man. Yeah. Uh, that was a butt ugly. Don't look at it. As long as you're just drawing the ulti. Send me an ulti and then we can fix this, y'all. But yeah, this card's amazing in this deck. It helps you OTK or extend, so it does everything for the deck. Get the job done. And then the FTK starter right here. This is the FTK's window, so... Yeah, what else can I say about this card? This, if you don't have Ash for this, I'm winning the game. Or if you don't have Droll, I'm winning the game. If I go first. I can set up a window board, so it's crazy. Um, that rounds out the spells, and for the FTK button, should all schism. I'm summoning window. That's how you win. Uh, going first. Um, yeah, self-explanatory. Uh, this is a starter and interruption, three dogmatic of punishment. I want to open one of these to play the game. So, yeah, this card's crazy interruption. I can use cards like Entis for my advantage to pop a card and then pop another card. Like, this card's just generically very good. And it's searchable. And then we got three called the Haunted, which is back to the front. I'm playing this one because it's a normal trap. Because you're going to see my spice at the end of this. Uh, but this special summons in face of defense. That's the only thing it does. It's called the Haunted Face oh, of the yeah, Banish. And then I check one of these just because it's called the Haunted for the Banish. But this is like really good when you're getting Bistealed and stuff on your like Cosmos. So yeah, this card's really good. But just one because you don't need it that bad. Uh, the Interruption, this is like the spot removal for that. Banish a card from the grave or the field, non-targeting. So I just pop, uh, I target a card on my side of the field, pop it, and then I banish a card from your grave or field, non-targeting, and then I can usually float into something better. So, two Cosmojo, and I'm playing one win button. Yeah. Sorry, don't don't look at it, yeah, don't look at it. It's just the one free win button. Um, just because cards with Dr. Schroer is a target, and so is Eclipser. And the reason why I play all those one of's is because this really cool new card from, I think it's, I don't remember what it is. Cybernetic sure, something? Like Cyberstorm Access? Access? Cyberstorm Access. This card's called Trap Tracks. It's kind of like Trap Trick, but you pop a monster, and then you set the trap, a normal trap from your deck, and then you can activate that normal trap that turn that you set, but you want to activate that trap card for the rest of the turn. Mm -hmm. So this card is a search for any of these cards. What? For yeah. free? Yeah, you pop a Cosmo monster, you float down. Oh, that's nuts. So like you have this guy, this, this. You can you can do some crazy combos with this this or it can enable OTKs on my turn when I'm attacking you. I can pop my own ship, summon my guys, set a trap, make sure you can't come back even if I don't OTK you. So yeah, there's some pretty cool synergy with this card. 
So that's my spice in the deck. Not the Shadal Schism, we all know that. <laughs> Alright, that rounds out the main deck. We're gonna go through the extra deck. It's pretty much irrelevant, but you need these cards. Three Entus. It's like uh, one Fossil Warrior. Uh, we played two Winda because you need two of them for the. Just in case when I have to send two off of Maximus, I can I can still summon the other one by picking up the Shadal uh, Schism from the grave when I discard it. I can use the other one to pick it up and then summon it for the other one. Um, we got the Apcolone, the Construct, because I can summon this because the Cosmo Monsters and some of them are light. You never know. Uh, this is the guy that searched the, the, the Schism. Uh, the starter for my deck, when I have Dogmatic Punishment, I can keep playing, I get the Ecclesia on the end phase, then I can search uh, like a, a Fluid of Least. I can put a lot of pressure on you with just those two monsters in the end phase searching. So after I pop your board, then I just I show you a bunch of damage. Uh, we got we got one Pegasus, one Omega. Uh, this is just one of those cards I can send to keep myself alive longer. No one remembers this when you send it to the grave, and then when they try to kill you, you banish it. After they pop the card or something by battle, and then or pop the back row, you can banish it to target a card and spin it away. Uh, this obviously I keep reusing everything. Uh, this because it can get summoned, but I never did summon it. But you can summon it. Um, and we got the one Furgit. I can't make it, but I can draw off of its effect. And I don't play Super Poly, so I'd, you could play Gurura if you want. But I, I have this just because it's a blue card. <laughs> no other reason. Uh, this, never summoned it, but you can. And then this because I don't want to look at a card with our Magma Punishment and not be able to kill it. So he's 5,000 attack. But I could accidentally summon this Link Monster. It takes five monsters. Accidentally? You can actually use it. You know, you never know. So this is like the only card with 5,000 attack you can actually accidentally use. So, there you go. The five-headed dragon. You never know if you need to do stuff like that. And then for the side, we have the two, the Biru, because Cosmos and the Biru have really cool interaction. You can tag out, chain the, you can chain the Biru, tag out, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, it, it plays around. If you watch Cosmo, my Cosmo profiles, I tell you I love this card. Uh, Duster, going second cards. The two Lightning Storm. This deck has a problem going second, obviously. The one thrust, I only own one thrust. I, I would honestly try to pick up two more just because I like this card. Ernest has two more on the back. Uh, Ernest, of course he has it. <laughs> uh, we got the, the the other FTK, D Barrier. I'm a control deck, so I need to play cards like this. Plus, you can trap trick it, or trap tricks it. I forgot what it's called. Where'd it go? You can do that. You trap tracks. You can do this to get this, which is crazy. So then I can just D Barrier whenever, even if I break, I can just pop my monster, set this, and then D Barrier you. So it's just. Traps on command. Yeah, traps on command. It's basically a lot of copies of it. Uh, and then this card, because all my cards float. Yeah, I remember that. And it <laughs> clears the board and simplifies the game. Can't go wrong with that. Too evenly, because you can, once again, you can trap tracks and do some really cool things. If I only have this and a monster, I can do some cool things with evenly, too. So. <laughs> Plus, it's just evenly. It just does what it does. And then the last card I have is three imperms. Oh, yeah, they're great. Just because I, I have a hard time going second, so I just need cards that I can do first and second, and this is the best one, so. So, yeah, that's going to round out my second place deck profile playing Cosmo. You guys already know I love this deck to death. Star Wars is, like, crazy themed to me. I love that. I love this archetype. Give me more support, Konami. Bro. They Got rid of Rice Heart. I've been waiting to. for Cosmo support since ever, and I can buy. I just dusted off because the Rice Heart went away, and it still can't keep up with meta just because like everything's crazy. And now everyone's playing Dweller, so it actually hurts my deck. So I had to put it down after this. But I had a lot of fun playing it. You already know. Back to the rock, uh, the rogue, and yeah, we're gonna be signing out with that. Peace. All right, guys. Thank y'all for the deck profile. Yes, sir. We'll catch y'all in the next one.